Hey kindergarten first grade leaders, this video is for November week two. Lola says hi. <laughs> okay, so this month kids are taking home a little packet that looks like this. And here there's some little notes for November. Um, this just gives a summary of what we're learning about all month, cooperation. This um, directs parents to the parent resource wall. There's a lot of great things out there. And then finally um, encourages parents to sign up for Christmas Family Life Live. It's gonna be a very fun event. In here, you can tell your kids this is their all access pass. It kind of tells them there's the memory verse for the month, there's our life app for the month, and here's some questions each week. And on the little sheet, we encourage parents to hang these in their car. So I have mine hanging from my gear shifter, but really it's just a reminder for me to talk to Trip in the car about what he's learning at church this month. So our brand new theme is jam session, and kind of thinking about like a band, in order to have a good jam session, they have to show cooperation and work together because our life app is cooperation, working together to do more than you can do alone. Okay, hold on, bud. So last week we talked about a story from the book of Exodus where um, they were building a tabernacle. The Israelites were building a tabernacle for God, and they had to work together to all bring their different talents to the table. So our bottom line is God wants us to work together. This week our story um, continues in the book of Exodus, and it's Joshua wins the battle over the Amalekites. And our bottom line is work together to help someone succeed. And our memory verse for this month is two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Ecclesiastes 4.9, a great verse. So jumping over to our leader guide for the week. Um, just like always, make sure that you're here at 8.30 and 10.30. It's a great opportunity to huddle up together as a team Go over prayer requests, praises together as a team, but then also be praying for the kids that we're going to be serving this Sunday. Just asking God to help them see the value in not just getting credit for a job well done, but also something um, helping someone else do something, even if it means that they get the credit and recognition oh, for it. Cute. Okay, hold on one second, buddy. I'll help you when I'm done. So when kids come in, um, make sure as you welcome them to your circle that you know everybody's name and ask about their week. Make sure you welcome any first-time guests. And then this, um, our supply prep team kind of already did this. So instead of doing what it says here for the early arriver idea, um, we have these God time cards for everyone. So they won't be able to do these things until later on at home once they've read the story. But on the back is a little coloring page that they can do. And you can be telling them, guys, today we're going to hear a story about Moses and how two people helped him to hold up his staff during a battle. So you guys can color in this page and then we will learn about this story um, in large group. And you can write their name on it and then they can take these home to do their little devotion on it during the week. So then at 9 and 11 when service starts, you have a little activity called the Riddle Me Do. And what you'll need are these community helper pages. Um, there's nine people and so you have two sets of these per small group. So if you have more than nine kids in your small group, you'll have to use more than one set. And then you'll need this little Riddle Me Do activity page. And what you're going to have your kids do is sit in a really tight circle and you're going to tape one of these cards to each one of their backs so that they don't know what's on their back. Um, and you have to remind kids, okay, you've got to keep it a secret. You can't tell somebody what's on their back and you can't look at your own. So then kids are going to walk around the room and you're going to call out a riddle from the page such as, I wear a uniform, I help keep people safe, I help make sure people obey the law. And so then kids should know in their head, oh, I'm looking for the person with the police officer. So all the kids would gather around this person that has the police officer on their back, and then the person who has the police officer on their back is going to guess who they are. So they would say, oh, I think I'm a police officer. And then you'll keep going and reading the riddles um, as you go on to the others. And it just says you can add variety. You could say, okay, guys, this time you need to tiptoe or walk on your heels or take baby steps. Um, and you can just kind of keep it fun that way. So you'll close it down by saying, wow, guys, there are a lot of people who help us, aren't there? Have any of these community helpers ever helped you? How? And so see if they've ever had a babysitter or gone to the vet or had a teacher. Um, and then you're just going to say, in our Bible story today, we're going to hear about a time when two people helped someone else in a big way. So let's go learn more. So then you'll head across the hall to large group, just helping your kids listen. We have our live storyteller and host this week to help us tell our story about Moses and Aaron and her. So when you get back, um, at your on your cart, you should have a swim noodle. And you're going to just ask kids some of these questions to review the story. 
um, and just kind of keep kids' minds tracking about what the story was about. So the Amalekites attacked the Israelites. Moses told Joshua to pick some men and go to battle. And the next morning, Joshua marched out with the best Israelite fighters. Moses, Aaron, and Hur went up on a hill. So you're just going to kind of review the story. And then you're going to choose two volunteers to be Aaron and Hur. And you're going to have them stand over on one side of the room. And the rest of your kids are going to go stand on the other side of the room. And those kids are going to be Joshua and the Israelites. So they're charging into battle to beat the Amalekites. And then you're going to put yourselves right in the middle. You are Moses, okay? We did not do costumes. Sorry to disappoint you. Um, but you are Moses. And so then you're going to kind of play red light, green light. So you're going to have the pool noodle in your arms. And when you hold your arms up, all the other kids, Joshua and the Israelites, they're going to move forward because that's when they're winning and they're attacking in the battle. But then when you drop your arms, Joshua and the Israelites have to go back to the starting line because the Israelites started losing whenever Moses would put his arms down. So at various times, um, you're going to encourage Aaron and her to come help you hold your arms up. So you're going to say, um, guys, throughout the game, be sure to ham Oh, I'm sorry, you're not going to say that. So throughout the game, you're going to ham it up. So you're going to have your arms up in the air, and they're going to move forward. You're going to be like, oh, my arms are so tired. They're dropping. Aaron, her, come help me. Come help me. And they'll help you raise your arms up back again. Um, and then you're going to, so kids can move across the room rather quickly because then you can choose other volunteers to be Aaron and her. So you're going to close this down by saying Aaron and her worked together to help Moses keep his arms in the air. And the three of them worked together to help Joshua and the Israelites win the battle. They each did what our bottom line says for today. Work together to help someone succeed. So what does that mean to help someone succeed? And kind of talk about that with your small group. And then make it personal. Maybe tell about a time when you worked with others to help someone succeed. And if possible, maybe share even an example from your childhood. So you might need to be thinking about that. Um, before Sunday to talk about a time when you help someone succeed. Moving on to our, um, so you're just going to say, so guys, each of you can work together to help someone succeed too. You can work to help a friend with their spelling words, to help a friend with their flashcards. You can encourage your teammates. You can help your family work together, pray for someone. How else could you work together to help someone succeed? See if they come up with any ideas. Great job, guys. So this week, remember, work together to help someone succeed. And when you do, you'll be showing them what God is like. And that's a great thing. So then for the memory verse activity, you'll have your Bible and your memory verse card. And then you'll have your biblical helpers cards. Um, I'll show you those. And you'll have some paper plates and a chair and your swim noodle. So um, what you're going to do is kids are going to kind of play musical chairs. And first, you're going to review the memory verse and... Um, you're going to have someone read the verse to the group, and if you have kindergartners, they can't read yet. So you're going to just point to each word and whisper it into their ear and help them read it out loud. And then you're going to encourage kids to talk about how Moses, Aaron, and her were good examples. So Aaron and her helped Moses when Moses got tired and he couldn't hold his arms up. Because if he did that, the Israelites would lose the battle. But when Aaron and her helped him, the Israelites won. So what you're going to do is you're going to have paper plates taped around the floor, and I can't do it yet because there's a bunch of small groups in here. But on one plate, you're going to have the picture of Moses. On the other, you're going to have the picture of Aaron. And on the other, you're going to have the picture of her. Sorry, I know you can't really see those. I don't know why it's not focusing. And then right behind the one with the picture of Moses, hold on, you're going to have a chair and the pool noodle. So kids are going to go around and they're going to kind of play musical chairs, only you're not going to take away a paper plate each time. And um, you can play music on your phone if you want, or you can just have them walk in silence if you want. And when you say stop, they're all going to stop on a plate. And the kid who stops on Moses is going to sit down in the chair and hold up the pool noodle. And the kids who are standing on her and Aaron are going to hold that kid's arms up. And then you'll say, okay, go. So this kid will stand up, put the pool noodle down. They'll keep walking around. Just make sure every kid kind of has a chance to play that role. So you want to make your stop sometimes short, sometimes long, and give each kid a turn. And then you'll just close by saying, so guys, Aaron and her worked together to help Moses keep his arms in the air. And the three of them worked together to help Joshua and the Israelites win the battle. And you know what? God used all of them to do something miraculous. So this week, remember to work together to help someone succeed because two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Sorry, then, uh, ending. Let's close down our prayer. You're just going to use this little conversation below um, to just say, Guys, God wants us to work together to help someone succeed. And praying together is a great way that we can do that. You can be praying for your friends at home too. So who do you know that we can pray for? And you're just going to write these ideas down on the whiteboard that's in your cart. 
And then you're just going to lead kids in prayer, um, asking God to help each person that they said. And as adults come, just encourage kids to tell their parents that, that today they learn to work together to help someone succeed. That's it for this week, guys. Thank you for listening to this video and just being the most amazing small group leaders. Looking forward to a great Sunday here in Oak Ridge Kids. So thankful for each and every one of you. So is Herc. He just scared me as he stood in the doorway like a creepy person. And Lola says, yay, thanks for serving. See you guys on Sunday.